Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is GYAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel, we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose, we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So in this video, we will be talking about our uh, series uh, in which what we do, we daily discuss some questions relating to your prelims 2020. So the name of this series is let's solve some questions for prelims 2020. So as is clear from its name, this series is not just about solving the questions from prelims perspective, but it is also about your participation. So we do expect that if you have in case uh, any additional information apart from the one that is provided by us, then you are more than welcome to share that information in the comment box with us. So participation makes uh, uh, the, uh, the engagement more productive. So we do expect that you will be participating in the in this discussion. So let's see what are the questions. Uh, so to, today we will be discussing questions from uh, Indian polity. Uh, so the first question is uh, the bureaucracy in India is expected to be politically neutral and uh, uh, political neutrality implies that the bureaucracy will not. Uh, first, take a purely political position on policy matters. Second, contest for political offices. Third, implement policies and schemes that have a uh, that have a political objective. So we have to choose the correct answer. So friends, uh, uh, the, let me tell you that uh, first statement is correct because uh, this uh, uh, political position uh, 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 can't be taken by bureaucrats on policy matters because basically bureaucracy is a, a permanent executive. So it is there always, uh, no matter which party is in the office. So it remains politically neutral. And other thing is that, uh, sorry, uh, contest. It cannot contest for political offices unless and until it is uh, it is serving under the government of India or the government of uh, state. So but third is not correct because obviously every policy and scheme almost has a political aspect related to it. So we can't say that they don't implement, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. So we can't say that uh, they don't implement uh, this, uh, uh, just let me erase this uh, watch post that is being created. So, uh, so basically it cannot take a policy stand. <laughs> so it, it, uh, it is also raising this thing. So sorry for that. So let's move on to the next question. Next is, uh, uh, explanation is that uh, a person working in state services are required to act in the course of their duties in a uh, politically neutral matter. So they have to act impartially and to implement the government's policies. So requirements uh, uh, requirement that the state servants must be apolitical when carrying out their duties, uh, functions and powers. So this means that state servants must keep their jobs out of their politics and their politics out of their jobs. So in this way, uh, uh, there is no relation between their politics and uh, and their job. So uh, most of the policies and as I've told you that they have political purpose. So we can't say that uh, a, a particular uh, policy doesn't have a political objective. So uh, that there is no point of saying it. So uh, certainly statement three is not correct. So now let's move on to the next question. Next is uh, you are the prime minister and all ministers have to be members of parliament. If someone becomes a minister uh, or prime minister without being an MP, which of these follows? A. He must obtain a special approval from the parliament to continue in the office. B. He should get prior presidential consent if he continues in the office for a period of more than six months. C. Such a person has to get elected to the parliament within six months, failing which he stands removed from the office. So we have to choose the correct answer. So friends, the answer is C. That is, uh, he stands removed from the office because if a, a non-MP is chosen as uh, the minister, then he has to basically uh, 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 become the member of parliament uh, uh, within six months. So uh, you might be aware of the fact that uh, the, the foreign affairs minister, that is the incumbent of uh, foreign affairs minister, that is S.J. Shankar, uh, he was uh, he's a, he was a point he was elected to Rajya Sabha. So uh, prior to it, it, he was made minister, but then uh, subsequently uh, he, he was elected to this uh, uh, Rajya Sabha, the house of the parliament. So similar is the case, uh, uh, similar was the case of uh, former prime minister of India, that is Manmohan Singh. 
so he was also uh, 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 first chosen as first prime minister and then he was subsequently elected uh, uh, Rajya Sabha uh, he was elected to a Rajya Sabha seat from Assam so within a period of six months so there are many cases like this so the essential idea behind this is that in a, a parliamentary democracy uh, none of uh, none who is not a part of the parliament uh, can, uh, can become a part of the executive so now let's move on to the next question next is uh, uh, third consider the following about zero are in parliament first MPs are free to raise any matter which they believe uh, to be important uh, uh, in the zero hour second ministers are bound to reply on house of floor on matters raised in zero hour so we have to choose the correct answer so let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is a so the answer is one only so your answer is one only so basically mps are free to raise their voice uh, in uh, for, on a matter in uh, which they believe to be important so it is not necessary that minister is bound to reply on uh, on the house floor on matters raised in uh, zero hour so the answer is a that is one only so let's see what is the explanation so explanation is basically apart from deliberating on bills control may also be exercised during the general discussions in the house so there is question uh, there we have question r and then we have zero r uh, and co in question r is basically held every day during the sessions of parliament where ministers have to respond to the questions uh, uh, raised by the members so in question uh, r it is necessary for the minister to respond to the uh, queries raised by the members of the parliament but in case of zero r it is not necessary so the, uh, the uh, member of parliaments are free to raise any matter so any matter can be raised but it is not uh, uh, necessary that minister must give the reply of it so uh, and then half an hour discussion is also a mechanism of control over executive so on matters of public importance adjournment motion extra some instruments of exercising control uh, second statement is that nobody knows which issue a member would raise during this hour uh, so obviously as a result questions so raised without prior notice uh, may may be of no importance so hence the ministers uh, they are not bound to reply uh, uh, to such questions so in case of uh, uh, zero hour uh, so now let's move to the next question next is uh, nothing in this article shall prevent the state from making pro any provision for the reservation of appointments or posts in favor of any backward class of citizens which in the opinion of the state is not adequately represented in the services under the state so this is a provision that is found in a directive principles of state policy b fundamental rights c special constitutional rights under part 7 d national commission for backward classes act 1993 spread the answer is uh, your uh, fundamental rights so this provision uh, uh, basically the exception that is provided uh, to bring about uh, overall socio economic development of all uh, those who are uh, 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 economically or uh, educationally backward classes or for that matter scheduled castes and scheduled tribes so basically the purpose is to ensure that uh, there is uh, equality among the equals so uh, so that everybody who uh, who uh, who is the citizen of india uh, gets gets uh, this equality and uh, the inequalities are uh, uh, are reduced now explanation is uh, b that is it is the provision under article 16 uh, clause 4 of the constitution so article 16 um, you might be aware of the fact that it provides equality of opportunity opportunity uh, equality of opportunity is there in terms of public employment so whenever any office of the state will be open opened it will be uh, the all the members will be uh, uh, all the citizens of india will be entitled to uh, to uh, to bear that office uh, but uh, the, uh, 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 the, the, the restrictions or the conditions can be applied of qualification and also it is uh, uh, in that case uh, uh, there is a, there, there can be special provisions that could be made for the representation of uh, socio economically backward uh, castes as well as schedule Costs and scheduled tribes. So now let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements. First, the institutions run by state will not have any religious education to ensure the neutrality. So, uh, sorry to ensure the neutrality of state in matters of religion second the government will not discriminate between educational institutions when granting aid on the basis of uh, their uh, of their management being under particular minority communities. So we have to choose the correct answer. So let me tell you friends that first statement is uh, 
also first statement is correct and second is also correct so the institutions that are run by the state government uh, the, or the state for uh, that is uh, here the political entity uh, so no religious instruction will be provided in them so that uh, as you know that uh, india is a secular, st secular state so neutrality is so to be achieved and then uh, government uh, 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 government can also not discriminate on the basis of uh, uh, of the of uh, of, of uh, uh, by by granting granting aid to educational institutions because uh, uh, just because on the basis of their management being under particular minority community so there will be no discrimination so the answer is c both one and uh, two so this is the explanation uh, sorry this is the question so what's the explanation so let's see the explanation is before you so this is why in uh, state run schools religious threats are included are uh, are not included in curriculum so most of the uh, religious texts are not included in the curriculum and then uh, other symbolic methods are de designed in such a way that they do not reflect any particular religious uh, uh, biases of uh, such schools and then all minorities uh, religious or linguistic can set up uh, uh, on their own educational institutions uh, so by doing so they can preserve uh, uh, and develop their own culture so the government will not uh, while will not discriminate while granting such uh, aid to the educational institutions discriminate against any educational institution on the basis that it is under the management of the minority community so this is basically part of your fundamental rights uh, so you might be aware of the fact uh, uh, this fact if you have read these fundamental rights which are very important from your prelims point of view so these are the five questions of today sorry friends i'm yawning uh, so these are the five questions of today so if you have scored 0 1 2 3 4 5 so all uh, the uh, the performance of everybody is very good a zero a person scoring zero in fact uh, the performance of that person is the best because at least he has seen the video he has learned something new and he has uh, in in the in in while in while covering these five questions he has come across multiple concepts as well as facts which could uh, then help him in long term so what my advice to you people is that don't solve these questions from with the perspective of checking whether how much uh, marks you're getting solve them for the purpose of practice solve them for the purpose of gaining more knowledge solve them from uh, for, uh, from the perspective that uh, they will help in your revision and solve them from the perspective that they will also help you understand how to read for UPSA. so don't start judging yourself very first day so uh, the uh, your focus must be on reading and uh, uh, and covering the syllabus in as comprehensive manner as possible so in that case it is not necessary that you must score five out of five and uh, uh, only three out of the three or four out uh, is good and zero is not good because uh, uh, um, uh, a child doesn't start uh, 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 we can say around with the very first day so it is a gradual process so uh, no matter what you do if you take a step uh, towards your journey then it is a uh, it, it will be certainly counted as a step in the uh, in uh, or it will in the right direction so uh, this is basically about today's video and uh, about uh, something more which I want to tell you that we have various series for example we have uh, this uh, a brief history of modern India series in which we are covering your entire uh, uh, book of uh, uh, this uh, uh, spectrum publications in 45 days through target based approach. So target based approach means daily you are given a target to read uh, from the book and then you in the evening your test is taken of 10 questions and then uh, the solutions are shared with you. So this uh, uh, ensures that uh, and we, we, uh, we cover your entire book in 45 days. So this uh, ensures that your entire syllabus of modern India is covered, covered in 45 days through MCQ based approach. So that you can remain, uh, uh, you can work in a time bound manner and in a disciplined manner. So uh, total 450 MCQs uh, you will be getting at the end of uh, uh, the uh, series. So th which will be the compilation of all the MCQs that will be asked to you. Similarly, we have a series for the purpose of uh, this uh, uh, M. Lakshmi Khan, so uh, for uh, in which we are covering your Indian polity. So then we have a uh, series, uh, various NCRT series, for example, geography, NCRT series, history, NCRT series, polity, NCRT series. So there are multiple NCRT series also. And then uh, we have uh, uh, this uh, Ramesh Singh, uh, Indian economy by Ramesh Singh series also in which we cover your Indian economy in 45 days. So these are the different courses that are available to, uh, 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 from our side to you.
so how it benefits you because friends if you might be aware of the fact that these books are widely re uh, uh, recommended as uh, standard books so they are basically foundations of your preparation so each and every topper almost recommends these books so it, they are, it is very necessary to cover them so also then coverage is through mcq mode so you you uh, you cover your entire syllabus through mcq approach and uh, then uh, the uh, uh, this ensures basically uh, this time bound uh, pro process ensures discipline in your studies because at least uh, uh, most of the students uh, these days uh, prepare from home so they do not uh, visit to urban areas so uh, they are basically preparing from home and the biggest issue that they are facing is self discipline so this target based ap approach will ensure this self uh, uh, discipline in you and you will be able to cover your syllabus in a pr uh, proper time framework so that will be the biggest booster to you people uh, so uh, because the uh, uh, completion of uh, syllabus in a time bound manner is necessary uh, and then uh, also uh, this ensures uh, uh, discipline in your studies and you get the confidence uh, and also not mere reading is not enough you must know how the questions are framed in UPSC so that idea comes only when you practice more and more questions and uh, uh, this uh, time bound approach will certainly be beneficial for you and also then prelims is uh, just six months away you might be aware of the f uh, fact so I don't know if you are waiting for anything but that thing is but certainly uh, uh, prelims is not just six months away it is uh, it is just five months away now so if in case you are interested to join the, uh, the, the these various series that we have for the purpose then you can check the link uh, uh, of different series in the description box so uh, below the video uh, video description box is there in the description box we have various links of different series that we have uh, for the purpose of CSC preparation and also friends lastly we have a telegram channel also the link of which is shown on your screen and uh, this link is also available in description box that is down in uh, below the video so in on this telegram channel we have more than 15,000 students that follow us and they have access to various resources that we share for the purpose of CSC preparation so in fact PDFs of these discussions that uh, these questions will also be shared in uh, uh, in this telegram channel so if in case you are interested to get access to those uh, resources then you are more than welcome to join this telegram channel the link of which is there in the description box down in the description box so this is all about friends today's video if you like this if you uh, if you like the concept then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead